Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I sincerely hope you're all doing great. So thank you for being here today and a very warm welcome. So one thing that I always say is that all of these Megan haters, all of these people who troll Megan on a daily basis can never live in Megan's shoes even for a single day. Especially when are the same criticisms and the same nasty things that they have been hurling onto Megan is directed towards them. You'll see them all of a sudden crying, whining, going on TV stations saying how they don't deserve this, uh, this is not the truth. But then they themselves have been doing this to Megan for a very long time. So um, they can dish it but they can't take it, right? So one of these people who's now facing her karma is Candace Owens. If you don't know Candace Owens, she was working at the Daily Wire some time back before she was fired. And of course, she used her platform to say a lot of nasty things about Meghan and Prince Harry. She pretended to be so outspoken. And uh, she just jumped on the bandwagon that was mistreating Meghan, saying nasty things about Meghan because she thought it was okay to say nasty things about a woman who hasn't done anything to you. I mean, a woman who hasn't done anything to anyone apart from live her own life. But then Candace Owens was getting her paycheck by saying nasty things about Meghan, right? Well, now she is dispelling allegations of assault, mistreatment of former colleagues by saying that the attacks on over me, not backing down on being a Christian, are failing. So now we're just moving to full on uh, mischaracterizations. Well, of course, some of the things that Candace Owens was involved in were things that are very political and I don't want to indulge in that. But there was a Daily Mail story that came up saying that uh, Candace Owens mistreated makeup artists and interns at Daily Wire. And the source close to the Daily Mail said that they, wi they witnessed Owens hurling a canned drink at one of the junior staffers. And that is when she insisted saying that the attacks on me over me not backing down on being a Christian are failing, insisting that she is the exact opposite of what these claims suggest. Well, even if this is not who you are, even if people are saying lies about you, your name is being tainted, remember that this is the exact same thing that you've done to so many other people for the longest time. Yet you thought it was okay to do that, right? You thought that this was very fine. And now that all this is being turned on you, you're feeling um, attacked, you feel like you're being denigrated. Well, one thing this sh these people should know is that sooner or later, everyone is going to get a test of their own medicine. What goes around comes back around. So they better be very careful when saying nasty things about other people, especially when it comes to innocent people like Harry and Meghan. When the only thing that the Sussexes have ever done is protect themselves, protect their family and their own mental health. And if that meant moving away from Britain, starting a whole different life in the UK, then it was the best choice for them. And I, uh, as far as I'm concerned, that was the best decision that they have ever made. And I believe honestly that Harry and Meghan do not regret the decision of moving to the US. Ever since they moved there, they've seen so much success, their foundations are flourishing, they're gaining so much uh, popularity just worldwide because people are seeing the good work that they are doing. In fact, when they moved outside of that country, outside of that royal family is when they have been able to concentrate fully on their work without being uh, reduced to be 50% of themselves. And that has been a very good thing for Harry and Meghan. I mean, that was a blessing in disguise. And I just can't even imagine if they had stayed in that country. I can't imagine if they were still working members of the royal family. I'm just very sure that things would not have been the way that they are now. 
and if staying in that family was the right de- uh, was the right decision then why are the other royals failing in whatever they do and i've come to know that the main reason why all these people hate on prince harry and his beautiful wife duchess megan is because they make better headlines than the king camilla william or kate and another reason is because harry and megan are thriving so much outside of that family they never expected that to happen they thought the moment that the sussexes left that country they were going to suffer they thought uh, they thought bad things were going to happen to harry and megan no wonder even someone like robert jobson was saying that um with harry leaving the royal family or just stepping back as a working member of the royal family the invictus foundation was going to collapse but that is not what has happened In fact, the Invictus Games Foundation has continued to grow so much, recruiting so many other countries and so many others are still looking forward to join the foundation. So everything they continue to do is becoming a, a so much a, a huge success and that just pains the haters so much. Also seeing the way that Harry and Meghan have been outspoken about uh, their treatment in that family. Uh, makes these people angry you know the abuser always thinks that they should just continue abusing their victims over and over again and what they want in return is for the victim to be silent but the sussexes chose that they were not going to be silent because they have children to protect they have their own mental health to protect and they have a family to protect So for them to speak out against the abuse and all the negative things that were, that were being said about them it obviously made these people very angry but honestly one thing that i will never understand is the way that someone can be so committed to go to work daily just to say nasty things about the sussexes when they have done nothing to these people like i can never understand that level of obs- obsession But anyway, uh, I'm just glad that Karma is striking these people one by one and they're not they're not liking it. They're not liking the test of their own medicine. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it there for today. Kindly leave your comments down below on what you think about this and then I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful and amazing amazing time. Goodbye.